I do want to spend at least a minute um, talking about something I have not gotten a chance to uh, speak about extensively other than a one minute video that I recorded yesterday. Um, And that is Jalen Brunson being named captain of the New York Knicks. Uh, It was kind of, I didn't know, I don't think anyone was expecting this or waiting for it because captain of the New York Knicks is not, I mean, just to play it off of the most famous captain position in all of sports, the Yankees, um, captain of the New York Knicks is not that. Um, And I would actually go so far as to say that there is no basketball team in the league where the captain captain position uh, means really all that much of anything. I, I, I don't know that there's an NBA fan out there that could off the top of their head name uh, the, the captains of all 30 teams. I certainly couldn't. Um, and yet this, this was this hashtag meaningful. This was, this was meaningful uh, be, for a few reasons. I think, Primarily, it's been a long time since a Nick came along that uh, unified the fan base in the way that Jalen Brunson has, that unified his team in the way that Jalen Brunson clearly has. All you have to do is look at how his teammates respond to him and interact with him. And most importantly, led the franchise and led the team to the level of prominence that Jalen Brunson has led them to. So... You know, he's already been the unofficial captain. I mean, for me, if I'm looking at kind of where it really started, I mean, you could go all the way back to his introductory press conference where he said, you know, I'm not here to be a a savior or something. I I forget what his exact words, but something along those lines. Um, And it turns out that that's exactly what he was. I I go back to uh, December 3rd of um, 2022. So not this past season, the season before that in his post game presser coming off of that just absolutely hellacious loss to the Dallas Mavericks, where they were up by 15 or 20 in the first half and got absolutely blown off the floor. And they were sitting there and the team was struggling. We thought Thibodeau might get fired any day. And Jalen Brunson stood in front of the mic and said, hey, this isn't on him. This is on us. And we got to figure it out. And um, they then went on to win eight games in a row and resurrected their season. And really, that was in earnest, I think, the start of the run that they're, they've been on now for almost two years. So he's always shown these qualities on and off the court. Um, and then, you know, I think the other part of it is like this team hasn't had a captain in a while. And I think if you look at some of the captains that they had and shout out to New York basketball uh, Twitter account, I have no idea where he found this information. I spent a solid half hour, 45 minutes on the Internet yesterday um, looking for a complete list of all the captains in Knicks history or even just evidence on the Internet of certain guys being captain. And I could not find it. So that New York basketball I don't know where you're getting your info from, but shout out to you. Um, in any case, so he's the 36th captain in Knicks history. And if you look at some of the names on the list that have been captain, and I don't want to, you know, besmirch anybody in particular, but there are some players that have been captains over the last, you know, 20 years that that are not exactly uh, looked at in, in, in the absolute best light by a lot of fans, even if I'm, I'm sure they were great in the locker room and, and deserving of that honor. But it's been a while since the Knicks have had a player that I, I think fans at least looked at and was like, okay, that is what a captain should be. I mean, it's kind of ironic that the last guy to hold the title was Lance Thomas, who was a personal favorite of mine. And because I think, you know, he did quote unquote play the game the right way, but he was not, you know, a, a notable player. I mean, really, it's since Ewing um, where we've had someone that I think we thought of in this way. And then, of course, there was the player. And I couldn't help but think of him um, when when Brunson got named captain, whose nickname was the captain, and that's Willis Reed. And Brunson shares, uh, I think, a lot of qualities with both of those men. And um, it's nice that he gets to carry forth this uh, lineage now. Um, again, first 
first guy to hold the title in, in over half a decade. So really cool thing for Jalen Brunson. And I think um, a nice, nice gesture by the team and the, uh, to do this and really put a cap on the off season that they've had, not saying that they're done. They might, they might not be done, uh, but put a cap season, put a cap on the off season that they've had and really, you know, set the tone for this next uh this this next part of their journey that they're going to go into which obviously we all hope is is going to bring um more success than uh, at any time that they've had um since uh, Willis Reed uh, held that held that title 